February 8, 1969. The dress is informal, but the occasion is not. Top Everett manufacturing personnel gather in a control room to release the 747 to flight test. Jack Waddell, chief test pilot, formally accepts the airplane. After the ceremony, the flight crew makes one last check. Computers to measure and record first flight data. Ballast. Instrumentation. It is the day before first flight and a new dimension in air travel. February 9th, approaching takeoff time. The flight crew moves out to the waiting airplane. Pilot Jack Waddell. Co-pilot Brian Weigel. Flight engineer Jess Wallach. Takeoff requires only 4,300 feet of roll. Gross takeoff weight is 467,500 pounds, each engine producing just under 39,000 pounds of thrust. Hey, ball, let me know when we need brakes. Hey, we need brakes on the air time, like pick up. the whole flight. I've never seen any black smoke come out at all. You can't tell from outside if the engines are running or not. Uh, they're clean, all right. They are on the ground as well. 
In the final approach, basic airspeed is 140 knots, landing weight 440,000 pounds. sits there like a stable platform. The pilot has to keep telling himself, oh, and I'll leave it alone. It doesn't need any help here. <laughs> we just got it pointed and the airspeed adjusted, and we let it just drive right on in and land, almost land itself, literally. Radio car, you want to take a look at our tires before we go in, please? Uh, Roger, we'll do. Okay, we counted them. You got 16 under there. The height associated with this large airplane during takeoff and landing can pull it. This seems the way an airplane, this way it should look out of a cockpit. Okay, Jack, uh, natural question is, what are your impressions? <laughs> well, Al, uh, I guess this sounds complacent or something, but that's, that thing is just ridiculously easy to fly. It's just a pilot's dream. Really a nice airplane to fly. <laughs>